rolling me down the highway, rolling me down the highway, moving ahead to life won't pass me by. Good morning, everybody. Smyrna Cowboy here on the way to get some breakfast at the farmer's restaurant this morning with a friend of mine, my Michigan buddy. Uh, how y'all doing this morning? Today is the day before Mother's Day. Today uh, it's 7.37 in the morning. Sky, uh, the skies are overcast. Rain's moving in later on this afternoon. So I'm going to go eat breakfast with my buddy and then come back home and run to... Uh, Publix and uh, pick up some more groceries before the before the rain gets in. All those headlights up there doesn't look like a good doesn't look good at all. So I may be running into some sprinkles on the way to the borough. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I coughed in your ear, didn't I? Uh, I got a few things to talk about this morning. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for sending the clips in for my uh, PSA. I got uh, five or six clips. Still not too late. Still got till Monday to, to send those in. That's the deadline. And then I'll start uh, uh, rendering those uh, Wednesday when I'm off Wednesday and put them together and get a video on up for on YouTube. And then everybody can put them on their address book and send them out to people and hopefully they'll send them out to people and so on and so on and so on <laughs> I'd like to give you an update on my brother he's doing really good he's done with his uh, chemotherapy treatments and he goes back in I think uh, later on this month or the start of next month to get another PET scan to see if uh, they got all the cancer see if it's spreading or it's dormant or they got it all or whatever so he's doing real good uh, he got his uh, social security disability. He was approved for that on, on the first try. And uh, now he's going a uh, medical retirement from work. So all you people that uh, can work overtime, I've, I've been in, instructed by my brother to say this. If uh, you guys want to work overtime and uh, put some more money in the government kitty so he can get a raise. <laughs> uh he just keeps me. You've been working overtime, been working overtime? Aye, 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 aye. So, uh, he's doing, all joking aside, he's doing real well. Thank you for your uh, thoughts and prayers and contributions to the Bob Netherton Cancer Fund. I really do appreciate that, and my brother does too. I'd like to, I'd like to really thank you guys for that. And, uh, uh let's see, what else? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I'm, I'm go really going to try to make it to the gap this year. Uh, train. I'm uh, going to make it to the gap this year. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. And uh, we'll have another, have another scooter up there this year. Log Zero took his uh, Yamaha T-Max up there a couple of years ago. And... Uh, I want to try to make another scooter appearance up there this year. And I got a, I got some uh, questions for you guys. And I hope that you can help me. Uh, both my Vados are uh, uh, getting old in age, as, as you can say. I really like the uh, the in camera, the in helmet camera idea. But everybody's going to the Drift or the GoPro Hero Two for your uh, beat logging needs. But then again, I like the uh, no obstruction at all type thing that the uh, GoPro or the Drift offers on the side of the helmet. I like the angle that that does. You still get the uh, turning with the helmet, seeing what the rider sees. So, uh, uh, I know I won't be able to get it uh, this year, but maybe for Christmas. And I'm wanting to get uh, you guys' response on this. Uh, which do you think is the better all-around camera? The GoPro Hero 2 or the uh, Drift HD camera? 
I like the GoPro Hero 2 because it has an external mic that you can just, uh, you know, stick that in your helmet and talk a talk a talk a talk a talk. And uh, the, uh, I think the uh, the drift does also. But I'm looking for a uh, good, reliable camera that, uh, you know, of course, take high definition rendering videos. How you doing? <laughs> and uh, I haven't really decided on which one, so I can. I like to go ahead and make some type of decision fairly soon, just because I can put it on my uh, wish list for Christmas. It looks like we are getting a little sprinkling. Yep. And uh, so I can go ahead and put that on my Christmas wish list. So people can start saving up or whatever to uh, so I can get that for Christmas. Of course, I won't be able to take that to the Gap, but uh, I'll still have my uh, two Vado HDs and my little MD80, and I also got the old reliable Kodak V570. I'm gonna take down there. So uh, I'd like to hear your uh, pros and cons between the two. Uh, looks like the Condor Contour HD. I haven't seen that many postings with the uh, Contour HD uh, any longer. Everybody's going with the Drift or the GoPro Hero 2. But uh, if anybody's out there that has the uh, Contour HD, you can chime in also, or, or whatever camera you use, you know. To uh, do your vlogs with, it's on the outside of the helmet. I would appreciate your comments and suggestions very much, because I'm really, really torn between getting a, you know, getting a new camera. And I've checked the prices on them, and I think the uh, on Amazon the GoPro Hero 2 is like two. I, I checked it this morning and now I done forgot uh, 279 or something like that and I, I really it's right under 300 bucks I don't know about you guys but $300 is a lot to pay for a V-locking camera for a hobby but hey man's got to do what a man's got to do you know but if you would uh, chime in and uh, give me your thoughts, and uh, I would appreciate it very much. I've been uh, watching uh, Brightex3186. There's his channel right here. And he uh, just purchased a uh, 2002 Goldwing. And that thing is just super sharp. I really like that bike. But uh, with the way my hip is and everything else, I mean, I'm just more comfortable going with a step-through design. But, you know, you never know. You just never know. And I like the uh, electric reverse on it. That, that is sharp. That is too cool. And, uh, you know, like I say, you just, you just never know. Never know what a smarter cowboy may do. You know, an uh, old coot on a scooter, that can apply to a uh, motorcycle, too. <laughs> So I wouldn't have to change too much of nothing. <laughs> but it's really sharp. I really like that uh, gold wing. It's, it's really, really sharp. So I'm be looking forward to seeing it in person. And just to see if I can uh, get my leg across it, to be honest with you. But uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just too protective of this new hip and not wanting to throw it out of socket or or whatever, but, ah, who knows. Well, all right, girls, guys, and gals, and everybody, this is the Smyrna Cowboy en route to Farmer's Restaurant in Murfreesboro for that uh, Saturday morning breakfast buffet. Wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios.